the final video about how I made the two tube amplifier. These are the two tubes that I've used. There are earlier videos on my YouTube channel and I will surely give the link to the earlier videos. This is more or less the final video. Perhaps there will be another one, uh, especially regarding, say, the faint hum that you hear on the background. Perhaps um, uh, it's not audible because of the way how YouTube, say, uh, manages uh, videos anyway. In general, you can say <coughs> this is the high voltage part of the, of the whole circuit. In general, we can say when we make a uh, power supply for a tube and uh, don't want that these transformers here, these are 230 volt 50 hertz transformers here and here and here, when we don't want to say uh, let them stray in to the sensitive, very sensitive grid of the tube, say the, uh, the steering grid, where that grid um, gets the audio signal, make a completely separate voltage supply. That's my idea. Anyway, I want to give, uh, say, a good demonstration and also want to show all the schematics. Perhaps I have enough time. It's now two minutes on my camera. Uh, at first, important to tell the, the different um, voltage supplies. They are here. This is the <coughs> negative grid voltage. You can see here that these diodes are in a certain way reversed. And I've also noted all the, say, Pacific DC voltages and AC voltages. Such an AC transformer has a, a 12 volt output and that's of course nominal. When you measure it, could be that it is 15 volts anyway. Uh, nominal voltages here. But this is important. Here we have 27 volts DC and here is the negative grid voltage. That negative grid voltage only has to have an extremely tiny current. So this is 50 milliampere. That's far overdone. Say only 2 milliampere or 5 milliampere is good enough. That also means that you can use an other transformer anyway. Um, there is, of course, a mass and a ground here. You can see it here. This is the mass and the ground. And on the underside we have tin plate. Um, I've told, talked many times, uh, many times about it, etc. And the mass is defined as zero. That's here. Zero. Ground mass is zero. The reason is <coughs> that we use in this tube circuit also a negative voltage, negative voltage to the, the steering grid of the pentode part of this tube. And that's here. Here we have the, the, the tube circuit. This is the pentode part of the tube. This is the steering grid where the pentode receives its audio signal and on that uh, point 9 pin 9 to tube 1 and that's important to tell small correction here that here on this point 9 we get that negative grid voltage. And also here, these tubes both get here on pin 9 the negative grid voltage. That makes that the 
uh, tube, the, the pentode part of the tube is biased properly so that it uh, does give the lowest um, distortion out. So, uh, back to part one. This was the schematic. Uh, here is that the ID of the the ID, the schematic of the negative grid voltage, pen over somewhat. So that was the first thing to tell. The second thing to tell is the plate voltage. The plate voltage is in this case uh, approximately 150 volts when the tube is working. When the tube works and electrons flow from the cathode to the anode, there is a kind of internal resistance. That internal resistance must, the internal resistance of a tube must, by the way, match with the internal resistance of the audio transformer. That's here. But anyway, most important thing is that uh, here we have uh, a nominal voltage of 45 volts. That's given by these two wall transformers, both 24 volts transformers in series. The windings are in series, etc. But the best thing is to use a 45 volt transformer here. And then there is a voltage tripler, that's here. Show the schematic again, voltage tripler. It triples 45 volts AC to approximately 150 volts DC. By the way, uh, when the, the tube, when the, say the filament of the tube is not in action, so there is no electron flow from the cathode to the anode, the open voltage will go up to 200 volts DC. But when the tube works, uh, the plate voltage drops to approximately 150 volts. And this is uh, this part of the circuit is connected to the ground and the mass. This fuse is uh, more or less obligated. This fuse is optional. The diodes, I've given all the information about the diodes and all about all the components in the schematic. I hope it's clear enough. Well, of course, now the filament voltage. Uh, like I told in an early video, um, these filament voltage of these tubes, say the EC tubes uh, in Europe, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, uh, were often supplied with 6.3 volt each and then with AC and in the middle in the middle of the say filament there was a kind of a potentiometer circuit with which the hum could be removed but my idea was to make the circuit in such a way that the filaments are supplied via DC and I've switched the two filaments each uh, 6 volts, 6.3 volts in series. And to drop the hum that's generated here, of course, in the transformer to a maximum level down, I've used here a triple filter and that's visible here. 3.3 ohm, 5 watts, 3 resistors, uh, 3 capacitors of 4700 microfarad. That seems good enough. And when you say study with the scope whether there is hum on the filament, you can see that there is no hum on the filament. So the faint hum that you hear is caused by these two transformers. And I've already talked about it. Here the final schematic of the tubes, how the tubes were connected. Uh, like I told, don't forget here to these pins to connect the negative grid voltage. 
These tubes are both triode pentode tubes and I have chosen by purpose to use here a uh, 250 K potentiometer that's important then you can set uh, the biasing of the triode part of the tube and you can set the biasing of the pentode part of the tube with the help of the this part the negative grid voltage anyway about the audio transformer this is the audio transformer that I've used it's a simple, a simple 230 volt to 6 volt transformer this is the transformer that I use for the uh, filament voltage here are the transformers that I use for the plate voltage uh, here are the two potentiometers uh, that go to the, the uh, anode of the triode part of the tube and here the two here and here the two uh, potentiometers that set the negative grid voltage that biases the two tubes to it to their proper working point. Uh, here some more information about the audio transformer. You can of course also use other audio transformers. There's a whole theory about a tube audio transformers. I cannot go too deep into that. When you are interested more, uh, go to the World Wide Web, go to uh, Google all the say properties of um, tube circuits, audio tube circuits. Anyway, circuit again. So let's listen to a piece of music. I hope that it will succeed. It's copyright free music. That doesn't work. I have to. Oh, oh, that doesn't work. Sorry for that. Uh, of course, I have to switch on the tube amplifier. It has to warm up, of course. On a certain moment, we will hear we will hear sound. So this is a demo. Here are the scopes used. And these sco scope views are taken uh, out of this part here. Here is a, here here the scope is connected. Anyway, I will give the type of music in the description you can hear on the background that faint hum it's quite annoying I have of course all other <coughs> other parts of music on this uh, say a stick and I want to go to the other 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 copyright free music that will be perhaps take some time. This what this is what I wanted to hear.
yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong, I'm thought again. It goes up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me, and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well, then, baby, I have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, baby, we could be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change. I need to take. I promise that I'm never found this way. I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why. Thanks for watching.